Hello, it's time for your word work for the week. I'm gonna show you five words. I'm gonna read them like I usually do. And then I'm gonna read them a second time. After I read them, you read them. And then the third time, it's all you. So we're gonna start with that and then I'm gonna go into the next part of the activity for you. Here we go. Years, place, work, no, little. Now it's gonna be your turn after me. Years, place, work, no, little. Now it's all you. Years, place, work, no, little. So those are gonna be your words for the week. Now, here's what I want you to do with them. We've been practicing how to do ABC order. So I want you to take these words and do ABC order with them. And if you wanna get tricky, take the words from the last two weeks, combine them together, and see if you can challenge yourself and put them all in ABC order. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to take these five words and I want you to write sentences for them. Remember, they have to have capitals and punctuation. They have to be at least five words or longer. And the sentence has to make sense. Tomorrow I'm going to be showing you how to make sentences, really, really good sentences. So we're gonna work on that starting tomorrow. And the last thing I wanna do is I wanna tie in a little bit of art with rhyming words. Now, we know that we do a lot of rhyming and it seems fairly easy, but it's not as easy as you think. So I wanna show you what I mean by that. So if I took the word made, well, if you look at the word made, it's spelled M-A-D-E. But what you need to remember is, rhyming words are all about the sound. It's not about how the word is spelled. So let's listen to the ending sound of made. We have m aid. So we're listening for words that end in aid. Well, here's the word played. Played, made. Yep, those ones rhyme. How about the word laid? Yes, that one does too. So if you take a look, A-D-E, A-Y-E-D, A-I-D. So they all say the same aid sound. Let's look at this one. This one gets even more interesting. This is the word weighed. Like I weighed my dog and he weighed 10 pounds. So the E-I-G-H-E-D spells the aid sound. So you have three words that have the same sound, but are spelled differently. So what I want you to make sure you understand is that we're listening for the sounds. A word can be spelled differently at the end as long as it has the same sound. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to try to do your words and write, rhyme some of them, although they're very hard to do. So what I did was I kind of came up with my own list. I want you to try to take these three words and I want you to rhyme them. I'm gonna show you how to do them. So we have the word day, know, and write. But let's make it a little fun. So what I did was I took this and I made a flower out of it. So what I did was I put the word take in the middle. This is just your example. I put the word take in the middle. Then what I did was I drew leaves. I just took a Sharpie and I just drew them. I cut them out. Then I wrote my rhyming words on each, each of the petals. And then I glued it on. And then I just added the stem and the little grass. For those boys that don't really want to do flowers, I made something that seemed appropriate for now because it's almost baseball season. So what I did was I took the word take and put it on a bat. And then I just took something that I could trace circles around. I actually used the bottom of a Play-Doh cup. I traced the circles and then I just drew the little baseball stitches in there. And then I wrote my rhyming words here. Now you could get even trickier. And what you can do is you can take your rhyming words and then put your rhyming words in ABC order. So there's lots of different things you can do with your words, but I want you to do something with them. So first things, ABC order, challenge yourself by taking the words from previous weeks, 
write your sentences for this week using these words. And your rhyming words, again, are going to be day, know, and write. That's your word work for the week. Make me proud.